Greetings all. This is Commander P of the Interplanetary Math Forces. Math, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the math ship Enterprise. Captain K, your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to explore new math concepts, to seek out new sums and new ways of organizing data, and to boldly go to new math planets. Hello, Captain K. Today, you will be traveling to planet Alice in the Wonderland solar system. And I would like you to find out more about Carol designs and tally charts. So tally ho, have a good time and come back and tell me everything. Captain's Lock, on my mission today, I will need to learn how to sort items using a Carol diagram. I shall also be able to construct a tally chart to show the number in each group. Commander P has also asked that I ascertain how to compare the number of objects in different groups. I do hope the aliens on this planet are friendly. Let me explore. Space Cadets! We have already done some sorting. However, there is a way to sort things more quickly. This is called a Carol diagram because it was invented by a gentleman called Mr. Carol. We are going to sort some shapes. I am going to take a green triangle and put it there because it is not blue. Now, cadets, I need a volunteer to select a shape and place it where you think it belongs on the Carol diagram. Excellent. You have selected a blue circle. Where do you believe it should go on the Carol diagram? Very good. You have placed it on the side that says blue. It is a blue shape. Next volunteer. Ah, you have selected a red hexagon. Where are you going to put it? Well done. You have put it on the side that says not blue. Because it, of course, is not blue. Another volunteer, please. Yes, cadet. A yellow pentagon. Where are you going to place this shape? Very good. You have placed it on the side that says not blue. Another volunteer, please. Very good. Which shape are you going to select? A rectangle, a blue rectangle. Very well, cadet. Where are you going to put it? Good. You have put it on the blue side because it is, of course, a blue shape. Do I have another volunteer? 
Yes? Ah, you have a purple square. Where are you going to put it? Very good. You have put it on the side that says not blue. Exactly as you should. Well done. Yes? Yes, you. Ah, you have an orange triangle. Where are you going to place it? Very good. You have placed it on the side that says not blue. This is getting a bit confusing. The shapes are crossing each other. There isn't enough room. I don't know how many we have of each shape. We need a way to see what we are doing. This is another kind of chart. It is called a tally chart. I can make a mark on this chart to represent the shapes that we have over here. So, the first thing I placed was a green triangle. I shall make a tally mark on the not blue side of the tally chart to show that I have one not blue shape. The blue circle was the next shape that was placed. So I will make a mark on the tally chart to represent the blue circle that was over there. The red hexagon. On which side of the tally chart should I make a mark? Very good. On the not blue side. The yellow pentagon. Very good. Another mark on the not blue side. The blue rectangle. Good. The blue rectangle gets a mark on the blue side of the tally chart. What about the purple square? Excellent. The purple square gets a mark on the not blue side of the tally chart. And the last shape that we placed was an orange triangle. Where should we put the mark? There. Very good. On the not blue side. So, we can see far more clearly how many of each colour that we have. On your whiteboard, write down how many blue shapes we have and how many not blue shapes. Yes, Cadet? Well, obviously, to find out how many of each we have, we simply have to count the tally marks on each side. Count how many tally marks are on the not blue side and how many tally marks are on the blue side. Have you finished? I beg your pardon. So, 
based on this information, how many not blue shapes do we have? Very good. We have five not blue shapes. That was a far easier way to organize the information in order to see how many of each shape that we have. Very well done. So, Space Cadets, we have established that there are in fact five not blue shapes and two blue shapes. I have some questions for you. How many shapes did we sort all together? Very good. We sorted seven shapes all together. Which group was the larger? The blue group or the not blue group? Excellent. The not blue group. How many more shapes are in the not blue group than in the blue group? Mm. Some of you have evidently forgotten how to answer the question, how many more? Count from the number of shapes in the blue group to the number of shapes in the not blue group. There are two shapes in the blue group and five shapes in the not blue group. So if we count from two to five, two, three, four, five, we see that there are three more shapes in the not blue group than in the blue group. Very good. So we can see that we have found two different ways of organizing shapes. In the Carol diagram, we placed the shapes where we wanted them. However, we can see that it is easy for us to place too many. So sometimes, if you only want to find out how many of an object, then it is better to use a tally chart, like the one over here. Very good. I shall convey my congratulations on your progress to Commander P. Cadets, dismissed. Well done and congratulations. That was brilliant. <laughs>